In a historic move in the country's space sector, for the first time, a space consortium formed by India's largest defense PSU, Hindustan Aeronautics Limited, and Lawson and Tubro (L&T) have backed the 860 crore contract for building ISRO's iconic polar satellite launch vehicle PSLV. This deal was inked between HAL and New Space India Limited (NSIL), which is ISRO's nodal agency for carrying out PSLV production during the inaugural session of the 7th Bangalore Space Expo 2022. As a part of its mandate, NSIL had invited expression of interest on August 16, 2019 for the realization of 5 PSLV XL launch vehicle by the Indian industry. Based on the competitive bidding, HAL led consortium emerged as a successful bidder. Over the years, ISRO's workhorse PSLV has carried out more than 52 successful flights and the rocket has attained operational status. The first Indian satellite launch vehicle with liquid fuel PSLV mission began with India's first successful launch in October 1984. Since 1990, ISRO has been providing satellite launch services through PSLV's launching 319 customer satellites from 33 nations around the globe. PSLV also successfully launched two spacecraft, Chandrayaan-1 in 2008 and Mars Orbiter spacecraft in 2013, that later traveled to Moon and Mars respectively. Talking about the capacities, the PSLV is capable of placing multiple payloads into the orbit. Thus, multiple payloads adapter are used in the payload fairing. This allowed the feat of launching 10 satellites in different orbits in 2008. More recently, on June 30, 2014, PSLV C23 launched four satellites into the designated orbits successfully. Notably, PSLV can take up to 1,750 kg of payload into the sun-synchronous polar orbits of 600 km altitude. The payload carrying capacity of the sub-geosynchronous transport orbit is 1,425 kg. Due to its unmatched reliability, PSLV has been able to use for the launch of various satellites into geosynchronous and geostationary orbits, like satellites from IRNSS constellation. scale up high technology manufacturing in india's maturing space industry and to encourage the development of a production base that could meet the needs of indian space program isro formed a separate commercial entity nsil it has been stated with the mission of enabling indian industries to scale up a high technology manufacturing base for space program through technology transfer mechanisms catering to the emerging global commercial small satellite market satellite services for various domestic and international applications this is it in today's session thanks for watching